Hello and welcome to day 3 of the N810 series. In yesterday's video, we covered a very simple use case or rather just a simple example where we use manual trigger and send email as an action. And in today's video, let's see how we can create form on N810 and how can we invite users to join our community using the form submission as trigger and email as an action. So let's get started. So I'll create a project and I'm going to name this as ABCD. We could give some description, all automation related to our community will be added here, right? I can also invite members over here, but right now I'll not do that. I'll click on save and I'll go to workflows. And this is where I'll create our first workflow meant for community. And as a first step, I will use on form submission. Yesterday we used manual trigger. Today we are going to use on form submission. As the name suggests, on form submission means when the user submits the form. Yesterday we checked for manual trigger. So when we clicked on that particular button is when the automation was starting. And here it is when the form is submitted. So we have test URL. This can be used until we are testing the flow and we have production URL which will be used when we are ready with our automation. So authentication, we have two things. One is basic auth and one is none. We'll go with none for now. We have form title, join our vibrant community and form description, fill out the form to join growing community of no code depths. Form description, I'll add this. Fill out the form to join the growing community of no code devs. Let's make it as fastest growing community of no code devs. And we can add the elements from here. So I will go to abcd.rit7.com. And what I'll do is I'll replicate whatever we have in this particular form, right? So we have name, so I'll go over here and add form element make it as name or we can make it as full name which is of type text and placeholder type your full name here required field let's go back we have email and whatsapp number so we'll go here and we will ask for email that can also be a text field right so we have text we have text area which is meant for multi uh, line text we have password we have number uh, hidden field we have file email so let's go with email because this will check if the input given is in, in email format or not placeholder i'll leave it as is uh, i'll not make it as required field i'll add a form element again and ask for whatsapp number and this could be number or it could be a text itself because we will need the users to add their uh, country code and i'll make this as required field and placeholder can be add your phone number with country code right and uh, do we need anything else what is your current professional level student working professional founder so let's quickly do that and this could be i'll just copy paste from here let's go back add this and instead of text we will make it as drop down list and we can add the options here and the option that we have is student working professional student working professional and founder i mean we could also have others and um, we can make it as multiple choice if you want them to be able to select multiple this will be just single so i'll disable this and if you want this to be a required field then you can enable this right and finally we have a checkbox here let's check if checkbox is available here uh text area email date custom html no so let's remove this one and um, finally we have respond when form is submitted or workflow finishes right build multi-step forms by adding a form page later in your workflow okay and then we have adding some options from here which is basically append n8 and attribute button label if you want the button label to be changed something like join the 
community we could do it from here and you could also have form path form response ignore bots uh, use workflow time zone uh, custom form styling and all of that we will cover this maybe in the future series or sessions i'll click on execute step and that's when a form will actually open up as you can see it has join our vibrant community and fill out the form to join the fastest growing community of no code devs full name let me say pratesh agde email address abcd at whatsapp.com whatsapp number plus nine one seven zero dash 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 what is your current professional level let's say founder and i'll click on join the community as you can see this is a test version of your form okay and i'll click close and this is where we have got our on form submission now to send the email out i'll be using action in an app okay which is precisely what we used last time as well but this time i'm going to use outlook microsoft outlook and we have create a calendar delete a calendar and all of that with regards to calendar we have contact actions we have draft actions we have event actions we have folder actions like this is like everything put together uh, in one right and we have uh, send a message this is precisely what we want to use so select credentials it says and i'll create a new credential from here just like what we did last time and um, we don't want to be using a shared mailbox so i'll connect my account so it opens a new uh, pop-up where we can sign in using our microsoft account and it will show you this app would like to maintain access to data you have given it to access to right and that uh, you can uh, open it up to check all the details read your contacts have full access to your contacts read your calendar read calendars you can access have full access to your calendars and so on and so forth uh, in this case we will click on accept as we can see connection is successful and you can see here account connected again sharing we are not going to share it with anyone and details we can see over here now sources we have a lot of things because this is like o365 uh, it is not just a email client but it's also calendar contacts uh, events folder that is drive and all of it so we will be using message and operation is send two will be coming from step one right so i will click on execute previous notes over here so that we can get the outputs from previous notes okay problem running workflow it says let's quickly go back and i'll click on execute this one here it says problem so let me just click on this again and click on execute step activate this workflow to have it also run automatically for the new form that's fine uh full name email address whatsapp number all of this is good join the community is good so why do we have problem okay let me just go back i think i can come back here now init problem there was a problem loading init data yeah it logged me out from here so once you connect your account you can see the inputs that you've got from previous steps uh basically on form submission in this case uh if not you will have a option from here to fetch the results of previous step so to which email id do you want to send it to so that is coming from step one so i'll just drag it and drop it and then subject will be whatever you want to add as a subject so we will add welcome to abcd community and the message is what you want uh, to be added in the body so the body i'll just copy from our previous template and paste it over here so because i've added a html uh, body i have to do one more step that is add field and click on message type and that's when it will be uh, html otherwise by default it is uh, considered to be a text email and now i'll click on execute step and you can see success equals to true once that is done i'll click on save and let me check actually if i've got the email and let me open it up and there you go so i've received the email uh it is still loading the logo and the video and a couple of other things but you can see that the email is cut right so okay for some reason this is not showing 
uh, we will look into that but as we can see the automation is functioning right once this is done what i'll do is i'll just click on this particular one and you can see that this is active uh, you can now make calls to your production form url these executions will not show up immediately in the editor but you can see them in the execution list if you choose to save executions i'll click on got it and what i'll do is i'll just double click on this one go to production and get this link and i will go to incognito mode open this up and fill in this again so ritesh test email address i'll use one of my personal email address whatsapp number plus nine one and then my number let's say a working professional and join the community so once this is done i'll just close this come back to executions and we'll see that something has run just now right so if i go to on form submission double click on this you can see what is the data that you've got right so you can see with a check day and the email address that i used the number i used and all of it is available over here now let me quickly check if i've received the email and yes i've received the email from and that's your on form submission automation for those of you who wants to join our community we will share this link in the comments below please fill out this form and join our whatsapp community and that's the end of day three for the nadan series you can create your own form and connect it with gmail or outlook and test this out do not forget to join our whatsapp community if you are still not a part of it because we're going to do a lot more in there see you on the other side and thank you for watching and see you on the other side